hey guys welcome back so today we're going to be getting into a game that's been requested for for a couple of weeks now and this is a game that i've known about for some time and it's actually a game that i never really looked into i just knew about it but uh the game that we're talking about is in fact the order 1886. now this game was released during the early years of the playstation 4 and from my understanding if i'm not mistaken santa monica has something to do with it as well which is from the creators of god of war i'm not sure if it's the same santa monica but i think it is that's that's what i read but anyways this game pretty much takes place in london in 1886 but it's an alternate 1886 where humans are kind of like in an all-out war with these half-breed humans such as werewolves and vampires and stuff like that now the only drawback that i've seen from this game um, based on what i've read is that it's pretty short and honestly this is perfectly the type of video game that i'm looking for at the moment because i still got other games that i have planned and i don't want to get involved in a 30 hour game at the moment but i did in fact want to visit this game it's been about six years since it released and i wanted to try it out and see what it's all about i've heard many many good things about it it looks visually stunning and again it's a playstation exclusive typically playstation exclusive games are pretty good so we'll see how this video does if you guys would like to see the series here on the channel uh just make sure you guys drop it a like i would really appreciate it it is saturday these are my favorite days to start and try out new games and you know what have you so i'm excited hopefully you guys are too thank you for joining me and uh yeah let's do this <laughs> Wake up, Fred. Hey. We were all about giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Fancy another rant. What is going on here? Let me say, this game looks pretty good graphically. For it being as old as it is, the graphics are pretty impressive. Oh, come on, you. Pick it up. Sweet dreams, mate. Yeah, dude. I'm sure I'll have the sweetest of dreams in this cell, you know, because... Yeah. I didn't know that we were going to start off at... I don't, I don't know what the hell... Obviously, the game just started, but everything's so confusing. From the trailers that I've seen and stuff. Time for your morning bath, my lord. My lord. Oh crap, but we're going back at it again. Now this is the main character. What is this? Once this right, a night. I don't think he's gonna last much longer. <laughs> Twentieth day of November, eighteen eighty six. Two more steps. Catacombs. <laughs> Yeah, not so hard, was it? Here we go again. Bro, 
What is going on here? You're about ready. These things take time. Put him back here. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Oh? Oh, you little shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> How does it feel now, you friggin' scumbag? The thing is, like, were they just trying to torture him normally when you torture somebody? Not that I'm like a professional torturer or something, but you want to get something out of a particular person. Unless they were just uh, just making his life a living hell. Press and hold triangle. When the prompt appears. Okay. This looks so darn good. Look at that. Twerking that little booty, huh? huh? <laughs> How do you like that now, suckers? But this is honestly a, a really strange start, but a very interesting one indeed. Okay, so push L like to move faster oh what the heck is that is that a guy on a cage like a floating cage that is creepy see there's a difference between like a cage like this and then Having somebody on a floating cage. That is just next level shit. Pick up the gun because, you know, why the hell not? Inspect the guns. We have no, nope, no bullets. Just my luck. So we're going to use this as what? A prop gun or something? Okay. Oh, I guess we'll just pretend like we got some bullets and hopefully get out of here. Or we use it as use it as a hammer. That always works. I have a feeling that if you were to do that in real life, it wouldn't be that simple. <laughs> Man just broke a full fucking lock with a gun. Okay. Easy does it. Who does that? Your mama. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That was too much. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Oh my goodness. So those are pretty much, I'm assuming, the, uh, the half-breeds. Yeah, that sounds fucking terrifying. Now, from what I read, supposedly the half-breeds ha have the upper hand versus humans. Even though there's more humans, the half-breeds are just obviously 
on a one-to-one -one ratio, they're much, much, much stronger than a human. I, that's what I read. So obviously, we'll we'll see here what really is going on as as the story progresses. Oh God! Hands up! Oh, dude, we don't have bullets. Oh. All right, mate. Oh, hold on. You better keep your hands up, pal, before I smack you across the face. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, Is shall it? we? <coughs> You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's what you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Move. Stay <coughs> That's why we have our orders. Shoot on sight. He has a gun! Oh my gun. god, are you kidding? Whoa, fellas, whoa! Oh! You're a moron! Why would you even say anything? Oh! <gasps> Bro, he went to kill me, what an asshole! talking about you know I, I kind of felt bad for you at first but now that I see you would have definitely killed me I I don't feel anything at all towards you no remorse oh what the fuck give yourself up monsieur my next shot will not be a warning Let us go. Oh, no. Hands where I can see them. The play is over, Galahad. Surrender yourself. Raise your hands now. Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Oh. Okay, so these people know him on a personal level. So could this be... Ooh, this is good. This is really good. Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks of Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Okay, so... Use R to look around. Okay, obviously. Help hold L2 and use R to focus on details and identify distant objects. I 
think we got it. Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. Bro, this is interesting. I mean, even the game itself just looks absolutely crazy. I kind of wish they wouldn't put these black borders so you can see more of the game. I mean, I know what they're there for. It's for cinematic purposes and stuff like that, but I feel like those are just more suited for trailers and cinematic cutscenes. I want to see everything. I want to live in this world, but... I mean, I guess it's fine. I see what the game was doing. And again, for this game being, what, six years old already? At the beginning, early years of the PS4, last-gen consoles, this, this looks fascinating. Another game that I've been wanting to play, um, it's The Rise of Rome, I believe it is. Um, a lot of you have been telling me to play that. I never got to play it. I know it was kind of like a release title for the Xbox One, if I'm not mistaken. Meet with a grain. Okay. R3 to view your current objective. So, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about that game. A lot of you have been telling me to play it. I just, uh, I haven't been able to get around it, but it's definitely one of those games that I've kind of had Morning. at the top of my head, you know, thinking about whether I should play it or not. Anyhow, we've got a newspaper here. Mysterious disappearance of, or in the White Chapel. So, it looks like the beginning portion of this story was in the future. So, now we've gone back in time and then eventually we'll get to that point and see how we became a prisoner. Twentieth of July, eighteen eighty six. Good day, sir. Good day to you too, sir. Guys fixing the elevator here. Man of his duties, I like it. What is this? La morte de Arth. La morte de Arthur, what is that? Completed. How do I? It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time, and the duke was called the Duke of Tintagil. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords, they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. Interesting. So Ygraine is the girl we're supposed to meet with now. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Yep, meet with Ygraine. Bro, look at how good this game looks. Holy smokes. I can only imagine this like on next gen hardware, you know, like nicely polished 4K ray tracing, hopefully 60 frames. If not on a piece, I don't know, something. 
So obviously this is like heavy heavy on motion blur with 30 frames typically if you go 30 frames you don't want to have motion blur disabled if an eye just looks a little off but like the motion blur it's a good distraction to make that look a bit more cinematic Galahad, the gray. Any word from negative I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. What do we got here? What the frick? Uh, you guys okay here? Yeah? Okay. What is this? Oh shit, this guy's got corona. You gotta be careful with that guy right there. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. That's the girl from the bridge. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. I'm not cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best in his day. Was? You're still pretty good. Oh, so she's trained by us. He's got like scars on her neck. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. God, this looks so stunning. Holy cow. This is a grain. Yep. With the rebellion making its presence known all over London, the authorities are keep lying to us. There we go. Now we can freaking sprint. Or jog or something. I'm starting to get a little impatient here. Protecting us. I heard rumors of rebels roaming the streets lately. Maybe it's good. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Oh shit. Nothing good ever happens. When you go into the underground. I'm actually still amazed at how well this game looks. <laughs> this is crazy. This is pretty good. Like, this looks really, really good. Oh, hi. Take cover. Let's get to work. Incapacitate the escapee. Equipped. Oh. Oh, let's go. This is what I'm talking about. Finally, some good old action. Oh, fuck. Get out of here. Find some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. Come on. Go. Let's call you bloody bastards. Okay, press the circle to take cover. Oh, what? Escape me down. Oh, this feels nice, man. I like it. 
Some are heading for the atrium. Okay, let's push forward a little bit. Ow, that hurt. Oh, dude, the shooting feels pretty freaking good. Enemy down. Street clear. There are more in the courtyard. What is this? Oh, nice. Oh. I pull out the handgun. I feel like the handgun gets the kills a lot quicker, huh? Or not. Maybe it's about the same. Up over. Stay hidden, stay hidden. Nice. Oh, dude, this is fun. This is pretty freaking good. Feels like I'm playing in some sort of movie or something. Anybody else here? Ooh, some bullets. Gotta tell me twice. Oh! Damn it. What the frick? They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Oh! <laughs> oh, this man's crazy. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. What do you want me to do? Oh, you want me to. Okay. Oh. Press R1 to fire the second. Oh! <gasps> Dude, I was reading the instructions. I mean, give me a second here at least. Okay, so I've got to press R1 as soon. Okay, you know what? My bad. Done. Take the shot. <laughs> what the frick? Is he? Are you alright? Damn it! They're slaughtering them. Ready? Let's get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Smoke grenades. Oh, shit. Smoke out. All right. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, this is bogus. Okay, that worked, kind of. Okay. <laughs> no, I did get shot a couple times, but it's okay. We're still alive here. In the, bar. the guy up there. Oh, there's actually multiple guys in there. Oh shit. I think I'm about to swap over to the... Oh, goodness. Bro, who the frick is shooting me? It's a smoke grenade, genius. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Escape being you. There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it. Head upstairs. Uh, we should clear the second floor. So far, this looks pretty interesting. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Hmm. It's weird. She, she, she drank some sort of potion or something and she's totally fine now. Like if nothing ever happened. Quiet. He 
You think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk? Huh? Say no more. <gasps> yeah, say no more. Oh, oh damn, look at her. Oh, he grain throwing it down. Okay. Oh, we've got a guy right here. <laughs> Yo, this guy can fight. Holy hell. Oh. Got him. Room clear. Oh, you better believe the room's clear. You know who I am? <laughs> I'm out here fucking handling L's. Okay, let's open this up. What? What the frick? Oh my god. Oh, that is freaking cool, bro. Oh, shit. oh, that was so cool. Okay, I think we're good. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, he's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur, uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis, your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting. Bro, isn't that the guy that didn't end up shooting us? He mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. He looks like the guy that gave us the warning shot in the beginning. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur, a man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Passamon. Strange. Hmm. Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Agrain take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. Okay. Oh, shit. Pursue the remaining escapees. Air command to all knights in the vicinity of Mesa. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. So one of the things that I've read that was bad in quotations, bad, about this game was that it was very limited. It limited you to a whole lot of things. Like there's really, it's very linear. You can't really go anywhere and explore or anything. Which honestly, it's not that big of a deal. But. I'm in the generator room. 
Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Oui, mademoiselle. But I have not met any resistance yet. Up here? Hmm, interesting. For some reason, this game reminds me a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2. I guess it's maybe due to where it takes place. You know, or the time better yet. Time period. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. My goodness, what the freaking hell? I got him. All right, let's go finish him. Or not. Monsieur, what happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Graham, I need your arm. Come. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. The arc gun. The oh, frick is an art gun. That looks like a Call of Duty zombies gun or something. Oh, hold R2 to charge the weapon and release. Oh shit, I can use it. Oh, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got to tell me again. Right, where is this freaking werewolf? This werewolf, werewolf. Pursue the lichen. Is that what they're called? Lycan? Lycan? Keep us safe. Oh, that shit is freaking cool, dude. We need to press forward. Oh, that is so cool, bro. Oh god. Run, run, run. Oh. Holy cow. Holy sh... Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Street. Acknowledge. Let's go. E. Disgusting. Sir, what should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. 
Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général. What of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed, but our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? So that is the legend. Mm -hmm. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. <laughs> I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebel's influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? 
Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. Interesting. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the council's wisdom? Yes. Seems like a lot of people were disagreeing with him. Look at this big ass table, man. Holy shoot. This looks so cool. Oh, God. So the rebellion. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Oh, God. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Bro. Secure the necessary materials. Isabel, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Galahad. This way, please. Tesla. Ah, Tesla. Just the man. Is this like Nikola Tesla? <laughs> what? The name. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. The name Nikola was mentioned earlier, and now it's test. It's got to be him. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep. What do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, <laughs> but do be careful. 
Okay, so Tesla Laboratory, Catacombs of Westminster. Okay, let's go here. This is crazy. This has got to be Nikola Tesla for sure. Nikola, how fares your friend Edison these days? And Edison? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. What in the world? The man is an idiot. Two of the greatest minds of our generation will meet face to face. May the great man win. You're the, your friend Thomas. Oh, this is cool as shit, man. Throwing some real knowledgeable history up in this story. I like it. I no idea what the hell this is. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Hmm. More gibberish to me. Likewise, I, I've, I've got no idea what any of this bull crap is, but I can assure you, it, it's probably pretty important. Refined ladies in waiting, all sizes plump and petite, present this handle bill as handbill and 10D for the regular treat, a splendid bargain. <laughs> Anything else in here? Oh, that's the art gun right there. Please, this way. Okay. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating <laughs> current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Dude, this looks so good. Holy crap. Lock the moving mercury between the needles. Click and hold L3. Lock the left tube and R3 for the right tube. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Okay, this looks good. Inspect the gun. Ooh. Recoil is sharp. Ooh. But not. <laughs> Nicely balanced. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. That's crazy. I thought we were going to get that little sniper rifle. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. 
Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. <laughs> the insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Smart man. Or crazy. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. The 15th day of October, 1886. Stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell my Ooh, well. If I'm being completely honest, this has been quite an interesting start to a very interesting game. We're headed to the hospital. There is believes that the rebels and these half-breeds are collaborating with one another. And obviously, we'll find out eventually if we continue this playthrough. Um, again, if you guys would like to see more videos, daily episodes on this game, drop the video a like. And uh, this is really, really different than what we've played recently here on the channel. And very intriguing, if I'm being completely honest. But uh, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if, if you did, just let it be known. And hopefully, if we do continue, I hope to see you guys here on the next one. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you later.